Okay, great. I was about to talk about a birthday gift I'm getting for somebody, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to do that. You can. I'll edit it out. You going through your DMs now? Oh, you just looking at the random girl? Oh, I, uh, I just hate this lady. The lady that's... I saw this today, and I legitimately didn't know what I would answer. Because the prompt is like, who would you rather spend the rest of your life with? The IHOP big titty retard? Or the, uh, or the, the, the I can't has cheeseburger? Yeah. Ren Fair. The lady that's like, poke. Poke. Mm-hmm. I poke you. Yeah. The woman who gets Matthew Shepard at a Ren Fair. Yeah. I'm fluent in cat. <laughs> I, oh, she's annoying, but I feel like she's putting on a. This is an act. It's a big put on. It's obviously a big. Well, she's hotter, too. Like she's more attractive so, than the than the IHOP Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity retard. I actually feel like women are evolving a little bit because they they're sort of mastering. I never gave women comedically anything, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Now they well, are. Yeah, none of us have. No, we've never. Had. People ask me who my favorite female comedian is. I go Lucille Ball. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's taken. You have to go back. I have to be like, yeah, I don't know, in yeah. the fifties. I guess they were funny. Yeah, you have to go, go pre civil rights. I go. You ever to see? Find somebody. I go. You ever see the ads for the Carol Burnett show DVDs <laughs> when she sucked and was messing up the sketch? That was really funny. I'm like, now Olive Oil. She was yeah. funny. I'm so sexist that I'm watching old I Love Lucy. I'm like, will, you, will that? Bitch, shut up! <laughs> yeah, you hate her. Yeah, I'm You're yelling. Like, I'm yelling at Desi to give her some backhand. Always with some hijinks, this bitch. <laughs> Make dinner. Kenny, she can't even work at a fucking chocolate factory. This whore. <laughs> and that's why women deserve less. Mm-hmm. Damn right. Mm-hmm. But I do love. I see women in the past year. They've got into being cringe. Yeah. As a bit. Yeah. And I'm like. Not bad, actually. You guys kind of figured... You're leaning into sucking ass, actually. I, th- yeah. I think women are finally discovering how bad they can be and still get laid whenever they want mm-hmm. to. I think it's kind of a it's experiment they've been running. Yeah. That's right. It's a revolution. Mm-hmm. There's been a, there was a lady on Twitter, I forget, like a year ago, she was posting... She just like turned Tinder into a, a video game and was seeing how terrible she could be mm-hmm. and still and like... Still- she was like messaging guys. They're like, what do you like to do? She's like, I'm in the KKK and I love Hitler. Hail Hitler. <laughs> and they're like, damn. Ha, ha. They're like, damn. Ha, ha. That's crazy. That's great. We should fuck in a hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Being like, damn. I mean, he did make the trains run, though. Damn, ma. So you be loving Hitler and shit? <laughs> I thought I'll make you cross flame, honey mama. <laughs> You fucking Chet Hanks. <laughs> the uh, the IHOP lady, uh, that video should end with a gun going up to her temple and blowing her head off, but she, I would go with her because she likes to eat. Yeah, I also... I, I mean, everybody's just going to choose her because she has big tits. I mean, that was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's got a nice big rack. Yeah, and the other lady has booger tits. Yeah, but the other lady's prettier. But it w- Devin, if, if it, a woman has hey. if a woman has C cups or less, I don't see her. Yeah, form. honestly, <laughs> fuck. How about this? Fuck looks. Mm-hmm. I want to. I, I want extremities. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm if I'm walking down the street, I see a woman and I my gauge her C cups or less. My brain does the black mirror thing where she's a static outline of a person. <laughs> I go, wow, yeah, the most gorgeous face I've ever seen. But I don't know, no ass, no tits. Who cares? Uh, she's not shaped like a horse. Who cares? The funny thing is, this is the this is the funny thing about life. This is the right woman. Mm-hmm. This she's, is the woman you actually want. Yeah, but, but you don't. But cause, you don't because fuck her. Look at the, she has itty bitty titties, mm-hmm. and and she looks like she judges you. Yeah, she looks mean. Mm-hmm. I want the retard. Give me that mousy retard (laughs) with her stupid rat fucking grin. Mm -hmm. Big John Lennon glasses. Dumb glasses. Pushed up tits. I'd love to come all over those glasses. I love big nasty naturals. Just poke your dick through the (laughs) lens. Pop the lenses out. I'll fuck her eyes. Yeah. Uh, Guys just love big nasty naturals. Yeah. People don't know that about guys. It's one of our hidden secrets. We want the tits to be like like salivating. Like Mm -hmm. there's like saliva coming out of them. Mm -hmm. Like they just ate a big burger. Yeah. Yeah. You you want a titty like a chow dog. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I want I want tits that smoke cigars, mm-hmm. down I, to a nub. I want tits that look like a Carl's Jr. six dollar burger, <laughs> just mayonnaise falling out of them. Mayonnaise mixed with ketchup. Mm-hmm. Old racist hound titties. Mm-hmm. Love it. Because you could you could fuck the shit out of this lady and then just treat her like shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I was yeah. going to say, this woman's great until the moment you come, and then you have to hit her in the head with a big rock. <laughs> like Piggy from Lord of the yeah, Flies. That's, that's how you put her to bed. You have to knock her out. 
<laughs> you go, all right, good night, sweetie. I love you. And then just. <laughs> I mean, it's truly, one of the that's one of the worst videos I've ever seen on the internet. But people you, love a hose hound, huh? They love a hose hound. The fellows a hose love hound? A, a hose hound. What's, What's a hose hound? hound? I don't know. It's in Dumb and Dumber. He goes, look at the fun bags on that hose hound. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, but he's retarded. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I <laughs> he don't really know doesn't know thing. what a pussy. I re- is. I watched Dumb and Dumber when I was sick last week because I got food poisoning because I like ate shoelaces or something. Mm-hmm. And... You got sick? How they get sick in Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> yeah, you well, ate a big hot pepper dude, and sprayed mustard in your mouth. I realized I have the same diet as Lloyd Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, That's, I eat exactly like. And you him. Talk... I drink beers in the car. You yeah. talk to black people like him walking out of that gas <laughs> yeah. station. Hey guys, big gulps, huh? <laughs> All right, <laughs> dude, I do. You're that, that guy. I'm you like Christmas. You, do, you yeah. do do that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, I, everything he eats in the movie, he's eating the chips, talking about Pete. I'm like, I this is everything I eat. He but, never eats a salad once. Before you were working in podcasts, you did have a lot of schemes, too. Yeah. You're the only guy I knew with a lot of harebrained schemes. Dude, I kind of was like, I was like Dumb and Dumber yeah. for years. You'd be like the one guy who's like, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to farm shrimp in the garage. <laughs> It's it's the gold of the sea, dude. I thought about growing uh, portobello mushrooms for a long time. Mm-hmm. Should talk not psilocybin mushrooms. No. I wanted to get into growing mushrooms like to food, sell to food. local grocers. Right? Yeah. Like which, if the DA caught you, they'd be like, "You're under arrest for being gay <laughs> for growing." You shiitake. can't even get high off of these. Yeah, they like bur- they like burst into your closet. They're like, "This is the gayest shit I've yeah. ever seen." That is like You're he's one of these. He's one of these farmers market retards. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna make an extra buck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I learned I learned hose hound from Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, you're right. Look There's, at the fun bags on, on that, that hose hound. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Great lines. It is great. great I mean, just great one lines. after the other in Dumb who, and Dumber. Who can forget Lloyd Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's what you want with these two: is you want to take the brain from the mean lady and put it in the big titty lady, like um, uh, poor things. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Because I do like a woman who's very mean to me. It does turn me on. I really? mean, th- yeah. this yeah. woman with the big nasty naturals. There's no way she's not mean as shit. Well, no, this is her fake character she plays on the internet. Oh, you think behind closed doors she turns into like uh, raging bull? Yeah, she's pretending to be like a trapper journal sixth grader no, in yeah. terms of her personality. Like she just plays hopscotch all day and loves Pokemon. This is another thing that pisses me off: is women that act like it's like the hottest woman you ever seen. And it's like nobody wants to go on a date on me uh, with me because I can quote uh, every single line from Star Wars Episode right. Six. They, they, and I've ran into women like this, and I've been like, "Oh, what do you think of like General Grievous or whatever?" And they're like, "I, I don't know who you're talking." I don't about know who that all. is. You raped me. Get away from me. <laughs> I'm me, me too. I'm me too. And you. <laughs> it's all a lie. No, because yeah. that's what I've, I've had those. I've, I've known those women in my life too. Where it's the, it's a, it's a ten out of ten woman. She's like, no one wants to go on a date with me. <laughs> And then you privately were like, hey, would you like to go on a date sometime? And they're like, I will accuse you of rape right now <laughs> if you do not get the fuck away from me. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. I will flirt with you up to the point you think I'm about to suck your dick. And mm. then when you try to make a move, I'll act like you're the predator. Dude, so many guys must be because you go, I just thought you were a woman who went to Disneyland by herself and was really lonely. Mm-mm. But you would just nerd out about Mm-mm. like the shit I love because I yeah. love Star Wars because I don't get pussy. Yep. So all I think about is like Anakin, Skywalker, and like pod racing and shit. No, it's it's a pick me woman is what you're talking about. Yeah, pick a woman me? who needs constant male attention yes. because she was molested by her uncle. When this she was this young. lady, like this 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 IHOP lady, I guarantee is a middle school teacher, and she's fucked hundreds of students. <laughs> That, she's a pedophile. Hundred percent pedophile. Yeah, pedophile. talks like Julian Moore in May, December. Yep, with the little lift. Yep, she's telling a fucking fourteen year old, "Come inside me. I want you to come inside me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm on birth control." And she's lying. <laughs> she's totally lying. She wants to have a little twenty one year old father. Yeah, no, she's brutal because you you also have to factor in in this choice like who like bringing her around your friends. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, we got to show the other lady. Oh yeah, the other lady. Show the poke poke lady. That's yeah, why yeah. we got so distracted by her big tits, we just yeah. forgot the other lady existed. <laughs> Enough of the retard. Get to the random girl. Yeah, get to this woman with fabulous C cups who I hate. <laughs> Highness, my name. I go by her Highness Princess Waffles Mix Squirrel, but on Tuesdays you can call me Boris. Mm. And I do get an urge to just slit her throat right now. It means, can I have a hug? Bop. Bop. Boxies. Boxies, boxies, boxies. I'm annoyed. I 
is so yeah, she's just an emoticon Ooh, personality. Oh God, like a, I'd love to throw an overcooked steak at her head, <laughs> scream at her, accuse her of fucking my brother. No, she would. If she, if she made me a perfectly cooked dinner and she went to the bathroom for a second, I would get up, put it in the oven, burn it, <laughs> sit back down. Yeah. So I could be like, "You stupid bitch." I'd love to see this lady in a James Cagney movie. He's just shoving pies in her face. Just, yeah. just smushing her face <laughs> the her, whole time. Making her eat a whole grapefruit. <laughs> yeah. Using her face like a juicer. <laughs> Ma don't like pokes and she's not random. You're not you can't have cheeseburger, damn it. You're not fucking random. You're not ra- you're not random, see? Yeah, see. It is, see. You're a dumb you're a dumb bitch, see? And you you stupid on Twitter. You're getting dunked on. You're getting ratioed, see? Dude, I don't know what guys won't do for pussy. <laughs> well, yeah. No, well, I was gonna. Guys say, would be like, "I love Doctor Seuss's The Lorax." Oh, it's listen, my favorite movie. Listen, I'm criticizing these women. You could take a time machine to 2015 um, East LA. Uh-huh. There's me in a bar going like, "My God, you're so random. That's crazy." <laughs> and then zoom into my head. I'm like, "Please suck my dick. Please God, suck my dick. Or I'll fucking kill myself." Just a woman wearing like a neon cat shirt. It's mm-hmm. the cat with the pop tart and the rainbow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's she's doing like emotes where she's going like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, God, it's gonna be great. Yeah, God, cracking gonna, your knuckles. Cracking my knuckles. God, I'm gonna split this woman open. <laughs> uh, no, have another rum and coke on me. Go ahead. Go ahead, get in a rum and coke. I'm fixing a condom on my weird dick. You're fixing a condom under on. the table yeah, at the drawing room. A I'm, on your I'm sheathing in my public. Co- in public. I'm like, now get another room and coke. You're so random. I love you. And I'm going. Mm, mm. I'm shoving my dick in the condom soft. Dude, I I know a guy who uh, was really bad at getting laid in college. Mm-hmm. I, I went to high school with him, but he went to another college, and I heard this story about him. He was so bad at getting pussy, the word traveled. It traveled from Lubbock to Abilene. (laughs) It it made its way east. Like he was in the Wild West. Yeah. Like, well, there's a fella who never got no pussy (laughs) at an El Paso. He was just a guy that everybody knew guys growing up that were rapey. Yeah. Just pushy weirdos. Mm -hmm. Sure. Around women, their shoulders were always just like wound up and clenched. And they were always like, fuck. Because they know they're they're a criminal, they know somebody might slit their throat. So that their mm-hmm. natural protection, they put the shoulders up, protect the neck, mm-hmm. yeah, protect the arteries. And yeah, because I yeah. rape a lot, and people th- these women could have razors. Yeah, <laughs> they're trying to protect their neck from me too allegations. <laughs> yeah, apparently this woman like reluctantly went with like he had a roommate, and then. These other two girls were roommates, and they decided mm. to go back to this apartment because the other girl wanted to hook up with his roommate. Okay, but she was like, "I might make out with this loser on the couch, but like, there's no way I'm fucking him." Mm-hmm. And like, that was very, right. very clear. Like she said that she's like, "I'm not gonna fuck you. I'm doing this so my my roommate can get." Pretty much, dead. that was like the understood thing. Mm-hmm. She got up off the couch and like got a soda or something from the fridge and when she turned back around this guy was completely naked <laughs> and he was wearing a condom really he wow. had a full condom on his erect penis she was like what are you doing and he goes he's like what he's like are, either we're not gonna fuck and she's like no and he goes but i already have the condom yeah. <laughs> And he pointed at he pointed at it like this yeah, he's like he goes, i already put the condom goes, on <laughs> <laughs> I already have the condom. No one on. knows how he already had the condom. On. I think he, guys he, like he wore it. I think he wore it. I all think day. he wore it on the date, dude. He might have been like had a like a twist tie that you do bread with, like keep bread yeah. fresh. Like he might have had that around his dick, soft, so mm-hmm. it wouldn't fall off. He might have. He might have super glued the base of the condom to the tip of the base of his penis. Yeah, so it was just hanging in there. Yeah, you, I think you're right. And then he has he gets hard throughout the day. Mm-hmm. And, and by the way, just, by the way, midway through sex, he, he just sneakily takes the condom 100%. off, and then comes inside of her. He yeah. puts it on every morning like pants. It's like dick pants to him. <laughs> it's got the little straps like for your socks. Yeah, yeah, the garters. <laughs> he has to tie it like joggers. <laughs> because oh, he's, he's like, got a little drawstring yeah, a little around the drawstring. He's, he ties it throughout like, the day. He's like reaching in his pants. And, he's, ah, like, he's like, oh, I can't wait to rape a woman today. I don't want my condom to be baggy. People will think I'm a wigger. <laughs> Puts little suspenders on it. Keep his condom from falling off. 
<laughs> tying him to his balls. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a rapist, so he always he always needs to stay strapped. I was like, yeah, of course, guys are capable of. You know how someone can tie a cherry stem with their tongue, mm-hmm. like yeah. in a sack. Like he's. Rapists can do that with condoms. Yeah, which yeah. Is they well, they're like they just do that. Rapists are almost like magicians because they make somebody's hope and joy disappear. <laughs> yeah, you, they lift up a you curtain. Take it from them for the rest yeah. of their life. They lift up a curtain and they they go down. It's like and your entire future, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah, because you're. I guess your trust in uh, everybody and it's all gone. Forever. Yeah, I'm sorry not to be woke. Forever, never. Oh yeah, <laughs> not, to, not to be, not Jace, to be woke, but on. I think rape is bad. Yeah. We see a graph yeah. behind us with the Patreon, and yeah. it starts doing. <laughs> there's a guy, there's a guy with the long tipper, ticker paper, just being like, "Fuck, boys, you fucked." <laughs> we need you to do it. I'm at, I'm at a podium, being like, "I actually love to rape." Here's all the women I have raped. <laughs> we gained five thousand more subscribers. <laughs> yeah, big marching band. Yeah. <laughs> Confet- We're in the New York like fucking stock market parade. My friend was in the other room uh, at the time getting raped by a woman, though. It's a very mm. interesting story. He was raped by a woman. Yeah, because he was just passed out drunk, and yeah. she, like, he couldn't do anything. Was this Amy Schumer? Yeah, it was Amy <laughs> Schumer. Mm-hmm. Mm. It, he, uh, he was in the bed, and he was fucked up, and she, like, had a condom and put it on his dick and, like, and, like fucked him, but he was, like, passed out. Mm. Oh, man. Do you really care, though, when that happens, like, when you wake up the next day? He kind of shrugged it off. You're right. But yeah. he didn't know he fucked. He, she told him that, that uh, like, I guess he, like, remember. I, I'm not really sure, sure she what the told details, him. but he knows he got raped. She goes, I much. raped you last night. He's like, oh, okay, well, that's. Women like, just say that. Yeah. yeah. They're like, well, I won't say anything because I'm not fucking gay, so. That's rough. But, yeah. Being a woman that needs to, you have to rape. To get pussy. Or must, to get penis. You must really suck ass. <laughs> A, a rape, a woman, woman that's raping men. Holy shit! Well, it's literally Amy Schumer is the only person I've heard yeah. of raping a man. It's yeah. the only story I've ever heard too. And she just force feeds men like foie gras. <laughs> they wake up fat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, yeah. I couldn't imagine well, men, fucking her. Men get whiskey and coke dick around her <laughs> because her blood sugar is so high and they're sober. <laughs> uh, I think I would fuck Amy from the back. And then mm. as I'm coming, I'd pull out a gun and blow her head off. <laughs> <laughs> I get like end of Gone Girl. <laughs> he slid her through. <laughs> I'm like, I'm almost there, babe. <laughs> She's like, well, I feel like a coldness uh, in the back of my head and some pressure. You're like, oh, that's my cum. It's my wet, cold cum. My cold, metallic cum. <laughs> Amy rapes man because she thinks the cum is glaze. <laughs> She puts it on her toaster yeah. strudel. Can you imagine fucking her from behind? You have to wear a big cartoon nose pen over your nose. <laughs> yeah, in 95 mask and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, yeah. Hazmat suit with your dick hanging out. Mm-hmm. Tape your balls in a plastic sack so they don't swing around and hit her. <laughs> hit her trash pussy. Dress like an astronaut to fuck her. Yeah, afterwards they got to like spray you down like it's Monster Inc. <laughs> Put a big screen around you and spray it down. Dude, if I fucked her and I came home, I would want to be deloused like Andy Dufresne at the beginning of the Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, when they're just rolling him in baking powder. I'd be and like, stuff. I'd be like, pour lie on me, like like let melt my <laughs> yeah. outer skin off, yeah, my outer some, dermis. Do some David Fincher shit to me. Yeah, she fucking sucks. Yeah, I'd fucking I I'd, I'd kill her as, mm. I'm, as I'm fucking her. Second week in a row, <laughs> really violent. <laughs> I'd cut her head off as I'm fucking her. Huge violent claims. <laughs> no, it's, but it's all, but it's a comedy podcast. Listen, so, like, if anyone ever jokes. gets mad at me, I'm joking. <laughs> and if I face no punishment, I, you know, maybe I was serious. I kind of, the only thing I think, because uh, I'm very happy in my relationship with my wife yeah. and my kid, and I got a whole thing here, and it's, I mean, it's paradise on earth, really. It is. Sure. It's, it's, I really hit the jackpot over here. Mm-hmm. But sometimes. But- <laughs> Sometimes I throw a knife at pictures of Amy Schumer. <laughs> no, but but the only the only situation where I'm like, uh, you you ever see a woman like on the internet and she has like a, like a disability of some kind and you go interesting. I wonder, and like your 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 man mind sort of like plays it out to its ultimate. How would it be? Yeah, mm-hmm. could I could I do this? Yeah, I've done. I've I've look. I've seen women with like Tourette's before, and I'm like, it probably is grippy and it twitches. <laughs> 
Yeah, right, right. When they're they're you're fucking her, and she's gonna like she's shouting slurs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she's also like convulsing. You like kind of like the twitches. Mm-hmm. She's, yeah. yeah, she says she, the the n word because of her tics, and you come immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or like, what if you dated a woman with like terminal hiccups? Right. Like every five seconds, just her her pussy does this. Yeah. Date a woman with no legs. Mm-hmm. You know, two stumps. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Date a woman with no arms. Yeah, you date like a, a lady who looks like a chicken nugget, basically. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You just date a big nugget. Yeah. And you dip it in sauce all day. Yeah, day day one of those uh, acid victims from the Middle East. <laughs> or if she just looks like a Francis Bacon painting mm-hmm. on her head. Strapped to a chair, stri- uh, screaming. Yeah, screaming in pain. You're like, this is a great movie. I love this movie. Mm-hmm. She's going, Aah! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, she goes, <laughs> zip, <laughs> and she's going, because <laughs> cum hits her skin and it starts burning. <laughs> Because all of her nerve endings were exposed by a, a mm-hmm. Muslim person <laughs> you, <laughs> who threw you acid. You fall off. out of your chair. Yeah, You're fall. leaning forward. Yeah, so I, hard. I die. I hit my head on the corner and bleed out. <laughs> but I've only I've always been like mm, Tourette's. Like I I because um, there's pretty ladies with Tourette's on TikTok, and I don't think they're uh, joking about it. I think yeah. Tourette's is fake. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I think they just want to say it. <laughs> they, they they it's a big scam. I think you know what I think it is. I think it. I, I agree with you. I think it's like an unwanted thought syndrome for some people, mm-hmm. where they don't like telling themselves no. So if they have a thought and they're obsessive, so it's like OCD. And if they think something, they, they just say it. Mm-hmm. I did, however, know a guy who was really fucked up in college, and he had like a computer chip put in his brain. I think because his threats were, were so bad, so bad, really. Yeah. I sat next to him in an, an accounting class, and one time he grabbed a because if he he got Tourette's, it would the the chip would short circuit his brain, so he'd, he'd start doing something, and then you'd see him go like like that. Oh fuck! And he one time he uh, I sat next to him, he grabbed my pencil and went to stab me in the balls, and like midway down he just goes <laughs> and then like drop the pencil. See, it's fa- it's fake. The guy just wants to like hurt people. Yeah. He turns it to the guy at the end of Saving Private Ryan, pushing the knife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's whispering. It's okay. It's okay. But uh, it's it's over my balls. <laughs> Just trying to hold him. I forgot he almost stabbed you in the testicles with a number two pencil. Yeah, but don't worry. I called him gay and punched him in the face. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> And I go, you fucking girl! <laughs> it's Texas. You're allowed to punch people with disabilities. Oh, it's, it's like when your uh, your roommate kills himself and they give you all A's. It was the same thing. Yeah, They're like he almost touched your balls, so you get all A's this semester. Oh <laughs> uh, fuck! Would you? How- he was a nice guy though, but he he couldn't drink alcohol because it would like short circuit the chip in his brain and he would die. Yeah. And there was one time we were on a ski trip and he had he had nine non alcoholic beers and he, we we were, he liked me for real. Yeah, he <laughs> dude, he just liked me for real. <laughs> and we we calculated like, oh, that's like technically one beer. If you have like one more, you'll die. And we like had to wrestle a non alcoholic beer out of <laughs> out his, of his hand out of his hands. Yeah. And we were like, we were like, I'm not gonna say his name. I'll call him Jacob. I was like, we we're like, Jacob, don't drink that. And he's like, I want to drink it. And he was like short circuiting. Good guy though, because he had a ch- he had yeah, literally he had he had like electronics in his head. Yes, and it would literally like short circuit. He told us this. They it put would short- a computer chip in his brain. Imagine, yeah. imagine you're a human that comes with Apple Care. <laughs> Yeah, we have to take it to the genius yeah, bar. Yeah. They're like, it'll be like a few weeks. We're like, he keeps on saying the N word around black people. And they're like, oh, we get this all the time. Oh, yeah, he got water on his chip. <laughs> Did you let him have nine non alcoholic beers? <laughs> yeah, classic problem. Classic NA case. Mm-hmm. Classic NNA case. What about banging a woman in a wheelchair? Do they, if they're in a wheelchair, do they feel it in their pussy? I think well, it depends. I think a right? woman feels an orgasm throughout her entire. If you're doing it right, fellas, they yeah. feel it from the tip of their. Uh, they if feel it sh- in their hair follicles all the way down to the tips of their toes. If if you know? you're uh, yeah. if you're throwing pipe, you know. Yeah. If you th- if you're stroking your shit out there, yeah. You know, if you a real pipe hitting, you pipe him, motherfucker. motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not. So that that's yeah. not happening. No, no, mm-hmm. no, no. I I I go. I came. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Night night. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the pussy. <laughs> thank you. I go to bed now. You, tr- you treat it like depositing a check at the bank. I literally, it's yeah. Go, All right, we're good now. I treat it like I'm taking a picture on my bank app of the check. I go, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's sent. 
<laughs> I'll get an email uh, right. confirmation in a couple days. <laughs> She's like, can you? And you're like, all right, goodbye. <laughs> you sign her pussy real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. <laughs> Let me endorse this shit. February 24th, Devin Costa. <laughs> February right. 24th, 27 <laughs> seconds. Thanks. Gives a shit about right. you. Look back. <laughs> <laughs> Think I give a shit about movies? <laughs> think I? You think I have pride? I'm here to come and move on. That is funny when guys are like, "I'm really good at fucking ladies." It's like, wow, what a waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> For what? Like, yeah. what do you get out of what it? What do you get out of it? Fuck them and then go to another one that doesn't know that you don't care about them. <laughs> Nerd. Nerd. Just keep fucking women that think you're about to give them the business, and yeah. then you just come and you go, "Thanks, bye bye." Mm-hmm. I also do love the guys where they're like, "Dude, I my woman, I got it." Every time my goal, make her come like six times. It's like, oh, you don't make her come at all. No. Yeah. You 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 rub her pussy like you're trying to start a fire <laughs> with like two rocks. And eventually she pretends to come six times because she's in pain. Th- those yeah. guys after, they ask the woman so many times, did you come? Mm-hmm. They have to start going, no, I came like... Yeah, I lost count because how many times It's I literally came. like you're holding a gun to their pussy and being like, did I make you come? And they're like... Mm-hmm. They're like in Guantanamo Bay yeah. of a relationship. They're like, yeah, I came. Your dick's so huge, and I came so many times. It was great. He's like, okay, do you like me? <laughs> they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, the the the, uh, the guys that like when they're fucking, the woman is literally fingering herself to make herself get off. Mm-hmm. You're just jacking off inside mm-hmm. of her, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, if your girlfriend does that, you should tell her she's a bad person and yeah, to stop that. Don't you ever do that to me. <laughs> Don't, you pull out. Don't you disrespect I go, me. I, I go, did you come? People, a lot of men think it's nice. They be like, did you come? I go, did you come? She's not allowed to come. I'm really angry. Stuff. I go, did you? Are you? I saw you shake. Did you fucking? Were you fucking shaking? Did you feel a? You disrespect me <laughs> in my house. This is about me. I come. I have the liquid. Well, that's like air. <laughs> It comes out of my balls. It gushes. It's the main point. Isn't that like Arab guys? Arab guys cut the pussy like clean off. They they fillet it like a fish, right? And mm. then they go, okay, now I can enjoy. Yeah, this they, yeah. they skin it like a homeless guy eating an apple. Yeah, <laughs> just cut off and then eat it. Yeah. That's how they eat pussy. Is they cut it off and then eat it. <laughs> guys in fucking <laughs> in Middle East. <laughs> I'm picturing it like the home, like Christopher Lloyd and Dennis the Menace. That's exactly, exactly what. You, listen, yeah, you're my brother. Brother, I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about? Kind of pussy. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, yeah, I think if you like want to make women come and stuff and you're really good at that, it's you, to me, you're like a social worker for, yeah. for like women. Like you don't get paid at all. Yeah, like get a life. <laughs> How about that? Get a real job. Get a life. These guys that talk about pussy all day. It's like, what What have you done? Mm-hmm. You done anything? Who gives a shit? My job is to mm-hmm. pay the rent and be mean to you yeah. until you make me come. You should be coming as quick as possible to move on with life. That's why Patrick Bateman's the ultimate dude, because of that scene where he's, he's fucking the lady and he's just looking in the mirror and flexing. Yeah, he said to himself. Yeah, it's about yeah. you. It's about him. It's, yeah, yeah, I fucking roll. No, who gives a shit about even, her? Even, yeah, non-ir- awesome. even non-ironically, I watch that scene. I know it's supposed to be a critique of of guys, but I'm like, that fucking I'm like, rocks. That, that's awesome. <laughs> that yeah. fucking rocks. That's awesome. I'm going to do that one time. He doesn't care. All he needs is a little friction. <laughs> That's Every right. man they're going out to a bar looking for friction. Mm-hmm. You said it beautifully once. You told a man at a Lemon Party Live show, show that his uh, her uh, his uh, girlfriend was a Kleenex. Right. Well, he was dating a porn. Yeah. yeah. Dating a porn dating star. Dating a porn star. It's like, yeah, that's great. But like, that's awesome because who cares? The guy was cool as shit. He was awesome. And that's badass. He was a cool guy. He's having fun. He's young. Have mm-hmm. at it. Mm-hmm. But like, in what way is that real? It's like you're literally dating a fleshlight. <laughs> yeah, you. You're you're de- not even a flashlight because a flashlight, you're the only one using it. Yeah, yeah. You're dating a hole in a wall at you're, a truck you're, stop. You're dating a hole in a wall that has like health insurance, <laughs> that like go gets doctors checkups. Yeah, that you have to drop off at the apartment where she gets fucked by a guy, yeah. a guy named Mandingo Manny. <laughs> That, that guy says he jacks off in the other room as she's getting fucked every night. Yeah, because it's like live action porn. He's like, I'm into theater. Because <laughs> I go to Broadway. 
<laughs> yeah, he's throwing roses at her when she comes. She bows. Yeah. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Well, it's funny too. It's like radio for him, where he's like so old school. It's like when mm-hmm. the it's like a Johnny Cash family on the wood planks gathering around the radio and the fire. Yeah, and I, like, mm-hmm. he does that in his room where he sits down and just jacks off to the i the sounds exactly. of her getting it's a bunch of people the in the 30s huddled around a radio like listening to the Jim Braddock fight I'm like come on Jim come on we're a bunch of union boys and we really need this come he on. does that with people fucking with his people wife people fucking his wife he's like come on Jack Jefferson fuck the shit out of her <laughs> he's fucking listening to his wife fuck the other room like Orson Welles doing yeah. a radio show he goes you know my wife my wife she made Sugar Ray come she made him come <laughs> Yeah, she's getting uh, fucked on like he's like jacking off to the Papio Daniel hour yeah. for his wife getting <laughs> fucked. I know it's like evil or whatever I've been told or something. Or what? It's like bad. Cucking? Well, like uh well, I mean, first well I mean, I don't know. I mean, you don't want your first of all, like people are like, there's no problem with it. It's like, well, you don't want your daughter to grow up to be a porn star. Mm. And you don't want like your son to grow up to marry a porn star. Like nobody wants that ben, for their don't, children. Don't fucking speak for me, all right? <laughs> Like, you want to raise a daughter to yeah. be in porn, yep. and, a, and a, you want to have a son. I'm I'll, if I ever have a kid, which I won't because of this. I <laughs> will have like literally like DVDs <laughs> a, as a mobile swinging yeah. around the crib. Yeah, the best of Alexis Texas yeah. ass eating I volume would, seven. I'd teach him young. It'd be like giving my kid like Pistol Pete Maravich videos about how to dribble. Yeah, you're you're a, you're an overzealous coach dad for your kid fucking. Yeah. It's your only passion. You want to raise your son to be a porn star. Mm-hmm. You're driving down the Mexico that you're like, I want I want to see seven thousand pussy licks. You're not coming out of that gym until you lick a pussy seven thousand times. You make your son fuck a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is just you're molesting him in this bit. In the bit, I'm molesting my child. Mm-hmm. If we're gonna be technical, that's what the bit. But is. through somebody else. Through somebody else. But yeah, yeah, you send him to like porn camp when he's eighteen. Yeah, I mean we've like known it's boarding school. We've known. I've had people literally be like, "Dude, how I lost my V card? Dude, my dad drove me to Mexico, and yeah. then I, I was nine, and I fucked a lady who was forty five years old." Yeah, You've heard people say that. Yes. Oh yeah, that's a lot yes. of guys where their dad is just you know some beer drinking piece of shit. It's like you're thirteen now. Taking you to the whorehouse. Yeah. If you don't get hard, I'm gonna yeah. beat the shit out of you. Cause you're fucking gay. I got a bunch of women in my phone named Lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> They'll handle this. So like some parents, like our parents, didn't even give us a sex talk, and then no. and then other parents are just like they take you out in a pasture and you just like they fuck gave a them hole like the a ground? yeah, they gave them like yeah, a sex tour. Mm-hmm. We had no sex talk. There's other parents there's dads out there that like take their kid to go get fucked at like fifteen. Yeah. They like take their kid to Amsterdam yeah. and they're like, we're going to do a whole weekend just you, fucking and sucking. And I'm you would sure. never stop thinking your dad's the coolest guy. Yeah, ever. I'm not yeah, sure. You it's would like think, kind of the greatest thing to do. Well, yeah. You would think your dad's the coolest guy in the world. And then one day you're 23 and a cold wind hits you <laughs> and you start crying and you don't know why. Yeah. And it won't stop. And you're like, oh, I was kind of my dad kind of raped me. No, through, it, my dad used a woman's pussy to rape my penis. Yeah, it is. Fuck. It's like, you know, little Wayne. I think Little Wayne had like a there was a yeah that story he told in that yeah that interview where he's like I was n- nine years old and they go suck Little Wayne little dick and he's telling it like it's cool but and everyone's like yeah and I'm like you could see him dying inside he's like this is why I live I like, live off of coffee hell yeah and they're like hell yeah he's like yeah it was the coolest moment of my life I have seventeen seizures a day and I drink lean just to get through it. Yeah, I remember that. Every he's like literally like at a trap house with like twelve people in his in his posse. Yeah, and they're like, "Man, I lost my V card. I was in the rap crew. I was nine years old. <laughs> this lady come around. They're all like laughing. Like, ha, ha, ha. And he's like, and they said, "Suck, little Wayne, fucking dick right now, bitch. <laughs> Suck, little Wayne, little dick." And you can see everybody's kind of laughing, and they go like, "Ha ha ha." Oh man, it's so oh, fuck. And then he doubles down, and they have they realize they have to keep laughing. You have to be like, "It's awesome. That's great." But it's like realistically, it's like, "Oh my god, you guys were raised by rapists." This is unbelievable. Who, who sucked his dick in this story? Just some lady. Some woman who was dead by the, the time woman, he was 19. Yeah, the woman in town that, like, you know, just is there for yeah. that. Like, her, her, literally, like, God made her to just, like, fuck kids, basically. <laughs> but, like, it's cool because they're right. men. No, like, or they're boys. God's in heaven's like, okay, so this one, she's going to get molested by her dad and then fuck children until she dies at 19. God with a Sharpie just writing whole. Yeah. Whole, number 2000 yeah. to gods yeah. in heaven being like well what i want this one well i'd still hate women <laughs> yeah. 
So I'll make another hole. One of those women where God's making him. He's like three holes, three holes, three holes, three holes. Uh, Miranda, three holes, three <laughs> like where he decides to name a few of them. <laughs> I like to think the lady... Oh, what were you saying? He's like, okay, she's going to be born in a trailer park and she's going to have C cups at nine. So I think we know what's going to happen. I think we know. We've all seen this story before. Oh, did he... Wait, did an older woman... Did like a 43-year-old woman suck off a He wasn't Wayne's fucked by penis? like... A, they didn't get like... They didn't bring in like, yo, nine other nine-year-old girl, <laughs> fuck little Wayne. Like, no. That's, <laughs> then it's somehow <laughs> fucked up. Right, like a beauty pageant. Like, no, kid. no, no, no. Where they just watch two kids no, molest they did, each they other. No, like, they, they didn't bring in John Bene Ramsey and like have her fuck him. <laughs> Paying her in Monopoly money, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> peeling off fake one hundred dollar bills. No, they yeah, bring that's in. Grim. They bring in the. <laughs> yeah, they bring in some big booty clapping psychopath. So he like, fucked the, a lady. A lady. Yeah. yeah. Damn. They were like, "Here's candy, and here's her daughter, cotton candy." <laughs> You'll fuck cotton. <laughs> How, what is wrong with women that they'll fuck a nine year old? Because they. I here's the thing. I'll give it a little. It's it's because it, they know we'd want to come. They know men love pussy or are gonna grow up to love it usually, so they think they're just doing like they're that that's like the greatest moment of the kid's life. So it's like a canned food drive to them. It's just there. It's just a helping hand. Yeah, they're just going from door to door, fucking kids. I think. I think you know. There's a yeah. They they think it's like wow. That's I'm I'm like amazing. I'm like really giving this mm-hmm. kid like it's like a fantasy of every kid. Like I wish somebody would fuck me. I yeah. don't really have ill will toward that woman that did that. I but know, when but you, we got laws and everything. But when the gender is reversed, I. I actually think pedophiles, like people that assault kids, should actually be killed. Yeah, that's I'm actually for death penalty for people like, like when they're like watching things like that. Right, killed, killed, mm-hmm. killed, killed, torture yeah, them, yeah. kill them. We have too many people over, like, enough. enough. Like, what are we like, going through a trial for this? I mean, a waste of everyone's resources. Yeah. No, literally, the kid has to go to the trial and be like, "Yeah, he sucked my dick 85 times," yeah. and the guy's just there like getting hard under the table. No, take the bolt gun from no country and put his <laughs> blow his head off. Yeah, turn his brain into into cottage cheese. Those pedophile vigilante guys, they're so close. Yeah, because they're always cornering those guys who have who have like CP and are trying to hook up with like a twelve year old kid. They need to show up in those Walmart parking lots with like an MG forty two attached to the back of an F three fifty, and they need to let it fucking sing <laughs> into their smart car. They need to light them the fuck up. The they're always in smart cars. They are. Pedophiles are yeah. always in smart cars. Because they yeah. like small things. No, because they're liberals. <laughs> they like small things. And they're liberals. That's right, Ben. Those are liberal cucks. Mm-hmm. You run the libs of TikTok account. <laughs> you run the account that get, that targets gay children to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this EV pedophile. Yep, that's the pedophile that runs off of solar power. <laughs> Dude, there's like never a pedophile in like a lifted like no, Cadillac pe- Escalade. Pedophiles or never mm. show up in like a Dodge Challenger mm-hmm. with like dice in the mirror. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because they're they're busy no. raping their own daughters. Yeah. They're like, I got they're yeah. like, I got McDonald's at home. <laughs> exactly. I don't know you need exactly. to go out to eat. Yeah. No, pedophiles usually show up in those videos in like like an Oscar Meyer hot dog car. <laughs> Yeah, the rat car from Uncle Buck. Yeah. They're, they're driving the Dumb and Dumber. Dog car. Dog car. Mm-hmm. They got every fucking retarded yeah, car. Yeah, they're driving like Jay Leno's the car that killed, almost killed him. The wind-up jalopy. <laughs> no, pedophiles, their wheels always go, oh, yeah. <laughs> When my daughter starts like dating guys, I'm always going to check out the car mm. first because yeah. that's how you can really judge a man is by what he drives. You really can. What's the worst case uh, car for your future daughter's first boyfriend? Um, if they have like money, like if their parents gave them like a BMW, if they have like a Civic, you know, like their their parents like instilled like you're not going to get some crazy car. You're going to get a college car. Mm-hmm. Probably good people. I'm like ter- a Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla. Used. Yeah. Yeah, but if yeah, it's if it's like a new beamer, you're like, oh, my daughter's like not coming back yes, tonight. Yes, yeah. he's. I gotta shoot out the tires. He knows how to like lock the doors <laughs> like really quickly. Yeah, drug dealer car, any type of drug dealer car, because I'm actually already terrified of like, let's say she's 16 one day and she just wants to try pot, mm. and she's like, at, she's hanging out after school with her racist friends. Sure, and they're all like, because you know, and she's like, do you right. you guys want to smoke pot? And they all go, did you hear the last episode of your dad's show? <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. Let's all go get pot from black people. <laughs> because we're very racist. <laughs> and uh, 
she's like you know so you're 16 someone hands you a joint or something and you smoke it sure now stuff is laced with fentanyl or whatever and like kids die you scroll on tiktok all the time and you see someone's kid overdosed on fentanyl mm-hmm. when they're 15 and the problem yeah. is if you tell your daughter like hey th- this is dangerous don't do it it's gonna make her want to do, do it more so what you have to do is you yeah. start you have to start smoking her out at like eight years old <laughs> You have to yeah, be, you got to bring you it be in your daughter's house. room and be like playing like Marley records <laughs> and be like, hit this man, <laughs> hit this shit, this wet. Is there weed? You got to teach her to grow her own, yeah, so she doesn't take shit from strangers. You've got to like, nah, that shit's mid. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that not even got perp on it. Shit, <laughs> shit, shit. I'm a 12 year old girl from Tarzana. That ain't, that ain't got perp perp. <laughs> I'm a little white girl from Tarzana, and I, and I know that shit's bottom shell. <laughs> Dusty ass. Let me smell it. <laughs> that shit, man. Let me feel it. Dusty ass, motherfucker. Um, Is there fentanyl on weed now? Yeah, pe- uh, apparently kids die is from that smoking true? pot that's laced with fentanyl. Why who's, who's putting is that fentanyl in weed? I think Why? Like Kate Quigley. Dude, I knew... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's like Johnny Appleseed for fentanyl. Just walking through black communities, throwing it out of a bag. I knew a kid in high school once who he didn't know. He just thought it would be fun if he dipped a cigarette in Robitussin and he let it dry and he smoked it. Yeah. And I was like, what happened? He goes, oh, I just, the world was a pinwheel for mm-hmm. eight hours. Like, he just felt himself doing Jesus. this and he wanted to throw well, up. Th- th- to be fair, Kids just do, they just yeah. pick up things off the ground and eat yeah. To be fair, that kid was, he met his guidance counselor and they're like, we think you should be cannonball fodder for Afghanistan. <laughs> what do you think about that? We put you in a big missile and we shoot you at brown people. Yeah. That should be your job. And you can listen to a lot of Eminem. That's the type of guy that joins the army in the mall. Yeah. You know? Well, he's going to a yeah. lids and he's like, he, he sees a fork in the road. He's like, I could become a wigger or get killed in the Middle East. Yes. He's like, man, I really want that new Jordan jacket. I don't have the money. I'll join the army right here. I'll join right, the- right next to the shoe palace <laughs> in the mall. Yeah, he's like, but, oh, wait. So if I join, I can buy the Jordans. So you telling me if I get killed, I get money? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Talking like Denzel Washington. All, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> well, you know, if, I guess it makes sense because especially if you think the mall is the whole world. That is you the go, world for I, most people. I work at like a, a baseball card shop that sells samurai swords. I work at GameStop. I work at the Chucky the Doll store, yeah. like a Spencer's Gifts or something. I work at like American Eagle. Or I I go to in, into battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think if the mall is the whole world in your city, there's like no other. Yeah. Like what else are you gonna do? Everyone that also if, joins the army like willingly, they they don't seem to have any understanding of foreign conflict going on. They go like it's not like no one goes to war. And then the minute they sign up, yeah, the twin towers are knocked down <laughs> or something, and they're sent. Or even worse, they join in like 2016, and they're like, well, it's not like we're fighting a war or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, we were we're fifteen years deep into a dude, conflict. The, the the biggest suckers to me are the people that are like, "Do nine eleven happen?" And then like every day on TV, I just saw that American flag just waving, mm-hmm, and I was yeah. like, "God damn that! I want to defend that flag." Yeah, the, yeah, the people and who then like, they signed up, they yeah. quit it's their job and signed up. It's the literally the same as seeing a Crunchwrap Supreme <laughs> commercial and going to Taco Bell. <laughs> it's that retarded. <laughs> They're like, yeah. They're like, why'd I? <laughs> They're like, why'd I join, brother? Um, I saw propaganda and I'm retarded. <laughs> so it worked immediately. Oh, why'd I join the army? Well, camo was really in at that time. Oh, I joined the army because I didn't realize the TV can tell me lies. <laughs> it's so fun. Like the Little Caesars guy. The Little Caesars guy could tell you to sign up for the Marines yeah. and mm-hmm. you do it. Mm-hmm. Pizza, pizza, join. <laughs> ISIS, 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 ISIS. You stand up, you salute the little Caesars guy. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> I love that. I'll be there for you. <laughs> love that Roman bastard. Yeah. He goes, All right. Opus Day, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a two years, two years of your life. Oh, is he Italian? I think, I mean, he's he's, he's dressed like an but, Ita- Italian. It's right? a but he has Caesar. He's got like a toga on it. Yeah, it's he's Roman, right? No, it's, yeah, it's which is Italian. That's R- not a t- but that's not real. They're no, Italian. Julius Caesar was going, "Hey, I got I got I get a stab. I want to hey. fuck a baby." Ooh, chico, chico. Ooh, chico, I'm Julius Caesar. I'm, I want to fuck a baby. I'm a Julius Caesar. Oh. I give I give I give all that stuff. To, I'm like that's Greek culture. That's not 
that can't be Italian. Yeah, I've well, never the, understood the the mixing of all the that. Romans. I know were, the Romans were stealing from the the Greeks. I think. Right? Yeah, they were copying the Greeks because the Greeks were already like washed, you know. Yeah, and they're like, oh, that those guys were cool as shit, so we'll be those guys. But we can, can we make a delineation here between like like a James Gandolfini guy, nope. like an American Italian versus a Roman, yeah, here's, and here's, like here's, Caesar. Here's why you can't because they know. they Augustus. don't make, they do not make the distinction. They think they are emperors of Rome. Do they really Italian guys? Yeah, yeah. You see a ret- you see the fattest Italian man you've ever seen in your life. He goes, "We were kings." Oh. <laughs> exactly. He lives a guy living in like Lodi. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "My great grandfather was Julius Caesar, you <laughs> fucking mutt." We were Roman <laughs> soldiers and we killed the Jews. <laughs> oh. We were told uh, we've been told that this is the peak of civilization actually. This yeah. is the uh this was the spring of civilization. Yeah, so they're going to cling to it because they're the peak of their life is making cannolis. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so it was like... He just look at Christ, Brutus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I caught you, Shovey. He just look at Christ. Iago, he's up to no good. You tell me about your <laughs> a fat Italian... So they, we're going to fucking whack Jesus Christ. We're going to fucking whack you him. You hear about this Jesus <clears throat> Christ getting these guys in a lot of problems for us in Nazareth? Right? Way I see it, Tone, they've been planning to murder you the whole time. <laughs> he just, yeah, Dr. Melfi's like, Tone, beware the Ides of March. Uh, I don't know, Tone. He uh, did kill his kid. <laughs> I, I, Man, I hate that they're the one. Like, it kind of bums me out, too, Like about like Jesus. I'm like, you got mm-hmm. killed by Italians, basically? That's, that's what I've always thought that. I'm like, so Jesus was literally killed by Goombas? <laughs> like, he was killed by Wops? It makes me yeah. think he's, like, retarded. Yeah, yeah. He's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Jesus sucked. Dude. No, he had like he had Phil Riotardo in a toga shove a pool stick up his ass. <laughs> yeah, Jesus got caught sucking off a security guard at a construction site. <laughs> he was, he was, Jesus his head he was out the window. <laughs> Jesus outside the fucking the bathroom being like, I got two tickets to the Yankees. <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? I feel guilt. I feel guilty right now. The Christian inside me is like feeling really guilty about everything. That's fucking gay. Why? Push that shit down. That, that's Catholic. Why are you feeling guilt? It, well, why is it Catholic? Christians feel a lot of guilt too. Do they? Yeah. yeah. I thought Catholics were the ones that are like, I'm always guilty and shit. Yeah, Catholics, they they want to co-opt guilt, but they're like, we can do whatever the fuck. Yeah, we Catholics want. are so full of shit. They don't actually care. Yeah, they, they don't care at all. They go for the cracker. Those fat fucks. <laughs> Those fat Irish Italian <laughs> bastards. Yeah. Well, Italians like love Jesus though. They like kill them. Yeah, black people it makes love no Jesus, sense. and he's like white in every picture. I mean, it's like it's unbelievable. He's the only. Mm-hmm. It's the only thing keeping us from having a full blown race war. Yeah, like, Wait, thank God they... everyone's all doped up on religion. Was it a race thing back then? Actually, and we're rewriting history. Like, were Italians just racist and they killed Jesus because he was a black guy and everyone thought he like kicked ass? Yeah, probably. They're like, look at that fucking raghead. <laughs> Guy says he could turn water into wine. It's a fucking lie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got 5,000 pieces of fish right here for you, oh. bud. Damn, I guess we'll never know. They didn't like him because he, he ran with a with a crew, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Him and his posse. Oh, right. He was in a gang. Italian street of Jesus like Phil Jackson <laughs> like talks about black people. They're like, he runs with a posse. <laughs> Damn. No, I mean I don't know. I I did always think that though. I was like, when they say Rome, at, like Pontius Pilate, I'm like, so they were like Italians killed those, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Those guys were jacked though. They were like ripped and they're fucking beautiful. You see yeah, sculptures because... of those people like King David and stuff that right. they have. You want to fuck them? They well, look so. To good. To be fair, we have their propaganda. It's like if you know, yeah. two thousand years in the future, you're watching Predator and you're like, dude, Americans fucking kicked ass. It's like, no, yeah. we look like no, they we look like gumballs. They, they look like like uh, pussy bomb and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the, the 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 sculptures were to make them look like they were awesome. Mm-hmm. I doubt they were. You're right. Shape. It's propaganda. Like they were working out. You know. No. You know what's funny about like because it is all propaganda. All the paintings though of the women back then, they're all still like they're fat as shit and they have no tits. Yeah. and no ass. That yeah. is the that is the thing. It's like I get the Ruben S women. I'm attracted to thicker women. Give them like a fucking F cup in mm-hmm. the painting. I would love if Michelangelo was just giving a woman like F cups like hanging down. You know? Yeah, he no, should the, have been drawing like pregnant, like Sonic, <laughs> with like Shrek's baby and stuff. Milk yeah. like had, leaking out dude, of her nipples. They had supposedly this was the peak of civilization. This guy had these guys had no imagination. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They drew women that like 
I mean, you no could, tits. You could do whatever you want, and they still had the no tits, but give her a gut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, give they her looked a, like they, give her a belly. They looked like Burt Kreischer, <laughs> who, by the way, I saw at the comedy store in the belly room mm-hmm. a week ago. Uh-huh. Forty people in the crowd. He went up first, and he took his shirt off. Yeah, it was sad. It was very sad. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. Mm-hmm. I was sitting in the corner like Travis Bickle. Yeah, you sent us pictures like you were you were a detective, like catching a cheating wife. <laughs> I, it was like a PI. Yeah. I, I couldn't, because they were like, "Oh yeah, Bert dropped in. He's gonna do a set." I was like, "Oh okay." And I was just with my friend and uh, Connor, and then sat down. And then they announced his name. By the way, it's a tepid. People were like, well, "Who? What?" Yeah. No one really cared. It was kind of shocking. And then I look up, and he had his shirt off already. Yeah. And I was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait this is mind blowing." Just imagining him in the wing, waiting to go on, like <laughs> jumping like back and forth. Mm-hmm. And they say Bert, and then he rips the shirt off and walks out like he's fucking LeBron with the chop. Because I didn't know he does that for every single set. Like I thought he was just going to be working out whatever and that he, means. But he takes and, off the bowling hat and then he takes his shirt off and then puts the bowling hat back. He on. does. Yeah, yeah, he takes, You're so fucking it's, right. It's two steps, dude. Or he's, three yeah. steps. He, I've seen him take the shirt off. He looks like Quick Draw McGraw <laughs> taking the shirt off. <laughs> he looks like Jim Abbott pitching with one arm. He's got a whole system down. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I didn't mean to sidetrack. I, I wonder if part shocking. of the success is, like, like growing up, our dad never wore a shirt, and mm-hmm. he would just mow the lawn with his shirt off, walk around the house with his shirt off. Yeah. You know, sit in the garage with his shirt off. It's like an Fucking. owning it thing. Like, you own your shitty well, body. Well, I, I think it reminds everybody of their dad growing up, too. He's, like a, yeah. he's yeah, like a paternal he's, figure yeah. for people, you know? He's like yeah. your dad or, growing up. He's shirtless, retarded, disappointing. Um, you don't want to hear him speak ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just like pop, yeah. Just like dad, just like dad. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It is something. Just with a that. just a big half naked narcissist. Yeah, it just reminds me of my dad. Dad, uh, you know, just drinking Heinekens or Rolling Rock out by the pool with mm-hmm. his shirt off. Just my dad who got his foot stuck in those train tracks mm-hmm. 20 years ago. Does doesn't he remind you of dad? Yeah. Doesn't he remind you of dad who got struck by two trains at the same time mm-hmm. and, and <laughs> claims to this day he was not trying yeah. to kill himself. <laughs> yeah. Dude, a guy who's standing on train tracks and two trains are colliding with each other. Yeah, yeah. he's he's trying to <laughs> he stands in the exact middle. Trying to kill himself. He runs to the switch and like flips it and then runs back over. Times gets the the time schedules. <laughs> really make sure he does it right. Yeah. Calculates where they're gonna meet. Yeah, he's been struck by lightning multiple times, but never developed a skill from it. <laughs> I think Bert said he's known like three people that have been struck by lightning. And I think there's like been maybe five people on Earth that have been like, like the numbers make no sense. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like or, it would be impossible to know that many people struck by lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I saw that too. Yeah. He's a notorious liar. So a lot of people what? hate a lot of people hate that guy. <laughs> Bert? Yeah, people like make like, I didn't get sketches it. where they like. I was really dodged, like, I was I went to see him. I was mm-hmm. really into it. Mm-hmm. You got a front row. Dude, you know what? Front what, row seats. It was like I was starstruck. Did you know he tell the sh- machine story? No, but he told some other hunk of shit story that I w- tuned out. Yeah, that his daughter had the only punchline. Yeah, in. I, yeah. I, I literally couldn't remember. Mm-hmm. He has to like like tell us funny story his dog it witnessed. Yeah, and then everyone else on the show kept going up and be like, "Y'all saw Bert Kreischer tonight, y'all." <laughs> Yo, like, yo, the, like, who cares about the show? Burt Kreischer was here, and Dude. everyone's like, uh, what? Yeah. Y'all saw a bunch of shit in the toilet tonight. <laughs> Y'all think you can't do that anywhere but La La Land? <laughs> shit. Anyway, I'm going to go do co- cocaine with Kay Quigley in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Kay Quigley yo, just yeah. outside snapping black men's necks. I'm going to go play nose Russian roulette with Kay Quigley. <laughs> Yo, give it up for that smelly turd in the toilet y'all just saw. Give it up one more time. It smelled like shit. There was corn in it. It was soft. It was sticking to the bowl like a leech. You tried to flush that shit. It wouldn't go down the first time. Yeah. You had to flush two, three Yo, more times. Y'all saw a beer shit tonight. <laughs> a runny ass basket of shrimp shit. Y'all saw a motherfucking beer shit tonight. You know how? You know, like Cosby at the end, like he's so old, he has to sit down like in a chair to do his yeah. two hours of stand-up. Mm-hmm. Bert's going to do that at the end of his career, but he's they're going to put a toilet on stage. Mm-hmm. He's, just, he's just doing this the whole show, taking a shit uh, right. and just sweating. Yeah. And his, he's like, ah, oh, 
Fuck yeah. shit. His last surviving fans are there in iron lungs. <laughs> they're, 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 their bones collapse from being too fragile. It's just they're, they're like they're, they're soft, like Carrie Shiva. Right. Soft shell crab yeah. people. <laughs> They're in, yeah, they're in uh, iron lungs that their wives had painted to look like Coors they're Light just, cans. They're just, they're ripping their fingers off and dipping them into Ioli. Dude, an iron lung that looks like a Coors Light can is so funny. Yeah, yeah. He's just looking down the crowd, just seeing a bunch of mirrors above people's heads so they could see him on stage. Yeah, he, he walks out in his iron lung and he takes off the iron lung <laughs> instead of taking off the shirt. And they go, <laughs> clapping together like seals. Uh, that the video of that Burt Kreischer cruise, everyone, everyone has a scar across their body somewhere. That cruise makes yeah. me want to fucking get an old pirate ship they have on display. <laughs> and pull, it. A pull up beside it and let the cannon start flying. <laughs> Dude, imagine Somali pirates pulling up to yeah. the side of yeah. the Burt. The fucking Burt Cruz. Yeah, just on uh, yeah, on on the deck. Just like, listen, I'm I'm the fat ass now. <laughs> yeah, Burt Cruises make me. They make me care about global warming for the first time because I'm like, there's no more icebergs. What? <laughs> Come on, iceberg. Come on, iceberg. In Vegas, rooting on. Right. Yeah, the ships. The, it hits an iceberg. It's going down, and the Coast Guard's like, no, oh, gives a shit. <laughs> But they're so, they're fl- they're so full of like nachos and gas yeah. that just float on the surface. They would for pull years. out like flavored syrup and pour it on the iceberg. Like, we have snow cones. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking mm-hmm. dudes floating on like like uh, like Margaritaville margarita machines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just they're guys on- standing on. Mm-hmm. They're on a door, but they drown because they eat the door. Dude, imagine if if you go if you go down in a Burt Kreischer cruise and the only thing you can find is a Burt Kreischer cutout to mm. like float on. I would like I would drown. Cutout. I would let go of it. And, I let go of it and sink to the bottom. And I go let crabs eat my fucked up gnarled freak body. Uh, did you hang out with him though? Was he was he? Uh... No, I walked into the green room and then I saw him. He was just looking at his phone and then I was like, oh boy. Ooh, Ooh. I'm not that he. I'm, there's no Ooh, way he boy. knows who I am, but I was just like, I we I talk about killing you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like I made a sketch where you're kind of a big punchline, and the and the, my friend kills everybody in the sketch. Yeah, no, it was it was weird. He didn't look up from his phone though. He was I guess like reading the, a menu. Or He's something. a fun guy. I love Bert. Mm. He seems fun. Whatever. Yeah, it was great. fine. He's a great person. He had like a couple of his like his boys there. Or whatever that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I assume Osama bin Laden's a great hang too. Yeah, you know, I don't just, care. He was like rolling with like a couple guys that just they, they wear beanies like plopped on their head. <laughs> like they they're too they're like I oh, can't even pull this shit down. Like I just keep that shit on top. Only they, like only like the little bitty part of the top like of my it's a head. Kippa? Yeah, like it's just a little cold. But shit. Just the, just the and, uh, the top of my skull been pushed in, so yeah. it's a little cold. Man, my daddy's a, a <laughs> pair of joggers, and my mom's a graphic tee. <laughs> my name's Swag. <laughs> <laughs> my name's <laughs> My name's Swag Johnson. <laughs> I shoot the worst videos of all time. And they were like, after, because he went up like first, they, they were like going up, and they just kept being like, man, motherfucking Bert was here. Ah! <laughs> They're like, that's the motherfucker from Sesame Street, y'all. Bird. Uh, fuck, that's so funny. I couldn't even really hate it. I was just like, yeah, this is exact. Like, I went, I, I accompanied I've my- seen f- those crowds, by the way, at the, in the belly room. They, like they 45 they, they, people. They, you might as well be performing for an aquarium of fish. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just staring. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. they have no idea what's going on. Yeah. They're yeah. all in a K hole. But Bird they're from is Switzerland. They're all tourists. Yeah. 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 But Bird is such a narcissist. If he doesn't have attention every five hours, his heart will stop beating. <laughs> yeah. I told you, you sent the pictures. I was like, if, if Bert doesn't like have people look at him for two days in a row, you'd walk into the room and there'd be jelly and bones. <laughs> He'd like dissolve. <laughs> yeah, it was fascinating. I never, I didn't, yeah, I didn't have to speak to him right Yeah. I just, I saw him in the green room. He was looking at his phone. He wouldn't look up. And then I uh, just sat in the corner of the room and watched. What yeah. was he, what was he looking at on his phone? Like, I, I, I imagine he was yeah, door dashing or something or he's ordering AMFs yeah. on Postmates. He was ordering hats on Postmates, <laughs> ordering gay cowboy hats. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't wait till we have to meet him and then pretend that we're like. I'm like, dude. I love two bears, one cave. You see me take out a, a big pen and stick it between my ribs. Oh uh-huh. man. Yeah. Well, uh, I think we're at the end of the show here. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Think. It's about that time. Yeah. I mean, this feels like a good time to wrap up, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. I think we've been doing about an hour. We've done a good, some good. Does it not tell you on the thing? Good work, I think it does, but I forgot when I pushed record and when we started, mm. so I don't know what we're at exactly. No, we've done an hour, yeah, because we started like seven thirty or whatever. It's so been a, it's been a good week for comedy. Our, our uh, every apparently everybody, uh, everybody in comedy's best friend mm-hmm. did SNL last That's night. That's right. Yeah. 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 Last night. Last every, night. Everyone's best friend killed yeah. on. I woke Matt up today. Life. There were so many pictures of Shane. I was like, did he die? <laughs> Like it was like people doing like memorial posts. No. People literally being like, Shane did us now that that's why we up and it's like you live in a in a craps table <laughs> in Jersey City. What are you talking about? There's a bunch of guys like I met I saw Shane out front of the Grizzly Pair in twenty thirteen. He ordered an Uber. I knew he was a star. <laughs> Yeah, that was great though. That was a really, people, really. I see people posting pictures of like Shane's in the picture, and then they're like way in the back. Yeah, yeah. they're like five no. people back. Somebody, it's a group somebody of had three hundred people. Somebody yeah. had to. It was like Shane's face at like a comedy festival, and then a big circle of them zoomed in. Yeah, to their in the face. very back, they're in a window in prison in the far, <laughs> in the distance. It's like they're posting like the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. Yeah, yeah. they're all bad comedians and Shane, and then you like, oh, they're way. Yeah, they're way back there behind a, a patch of flowers. Yeah, yeah. The, my favorite it, it looks like a fucking like the grassy knoll. Like you're like, oh, there's a there. There might be a shooter back there. Yep. My, my favorite part was because we we watched it and Shade did very well. I thought um, it was yeah, yeah. very monologue. endearing and yeah, it was great. The monologue was great, but my favorite people on on Twitter were were being like, this bass player woman didn't fucking laugh. She's a fucking cunt, bitch. I hope she gets raped to death yeah. in Bushwick. <laughs> Look at this stupid bitch. <laughs> Epic win for comedy. Let's rape. Let's rape. They're like, I didn't even really watch the monologue. I just stare at women because I hate them to get mad at and take pictures of him. Apparently, I saw an interview with that lady who sits in the background of the SNL monologue. Yeah, the band lady. Yeah. She apparently sees the monologue like three times yeah, before it finally happens. They, yeah, they she's never seen laugh. it three times in like 12 hours. Yeah, she's yeah. not going to fake laugh no, at they, all the punchlines she knows is coming. I mean, the people who are also like, who are like, dude, Shane said fucking retard on so annoying SNL that yeah. means that means we can kill faggots now <laughs> it's like you take you've missed every point about what yep. his comedy didn't is didn't even good. understand the nuance of the joke mm-hmm. or, yeah they're like we up we up I live in a soda machine we up <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> they don't understand like the, the 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 mastery behind being able to pull that off mm-hmm. in a place that is like kind of like the lion's den like Shane is going into a place he probably doesn't feel welcome mm-hmm. and he's nervous and he's doing SNL and he's still doing those bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of my favorite parts of like any SNL monologue was Shane and he knows this isn't going to kill. He shows his dad. It's great. And goes, isn't it funny that he's an yeah. assistant? And he's like, that's funny, right? He goes, I thought that'd be funny. That was... Make fun of my dad for coaching women's basketball. That's so funny that he did that to his dad. Yeah. That's so fucking funny. The best is at the very end. No one noticed. He He goes, goes, eh, he should have so-so at the end. So this is the thing retards do also. Because Shane got as many laughs in that monologue as anybody who does a great monologue Mm -hmm. on SNL. He just called attention to certain things that didn't work in that room. Yeah. Even though me... We were we laughing were, at home. Yeah. But if you call attention to something like that, retards go, I'm not letting you get away with that. They got, and then they, they start saying, you bomb. Guess he bombed because he said he bombed as a joke. Unfunny losers, yeah. if you make fun of yourself in front of them, they try they to take use that seriously. as ammo against you and they take it very... They take it like in like very it's like earnest with them where it's, they start making fun no, of you truly. You're like, dude, I'm just like It's like people chill that out. they watch Dumb and Dumber and they go, Jim Carrey's stupid. <laughs> Whack. 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 I didn't, I didn't know Jim Carrey's so dumb. Dude, he's fucking washed. Like, they don't even <laughs> understand it's on purpose. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I, any Barstool retard posting, like, dude, huge win. Huge win for the R word today on yeah. SNL. Like, 
Like you're you're a fan of, you, of the R word. If you watch Shane on SNL and you weren't just happy for him and enjoyed it, yeah. and you turned it into a culture war yeah. thingy, yeah. in either direction, you should take a cold blade and run it down your forearm <laughs> because your brain is fucking goat cheese. Yeah. You've completely lost the plot. Other than just like this is very cool that this guy was able to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you turn it into like fucking he's racist or like it's a big win for the culture, like you're you're mentally retarded. The amount of people that, that retarded, think he yeah. was supposed to come out there and like be like, This show fucking sucks and like talk about him getting fired. It's like he's a good Dude, person that likes comedy. People he's wanted him to try. To, like Shane should have doubled down and gone out there and hate crimed Bo and Yang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? The fuck? Yeah, you should have put like Lauren in a chokehold and like, you know, it's, yeah. what is it? Why would he do that? It, also, being bitter isn't funny. No. Being bitter is actually never funny. Being angry is funny. Except when we like, do it. Yeah, except when we do <laughs> it all the time. And then it's very funny. When someone is bitter, though, it just comes off like they're a little bitch. Yeah, so that's why sucks. you can never be bitter about anything, even if you are completely totally in the right. right i've seen people on twitter do it before where they are justified in their bitterness and they're tweeting a bunch of stuff and everyone goes dude yeah. you're f- you're fucking gay and mm-hmm. like no one feels bad for that guy and they start siding with the dude who's actually the piece of shit yeah yes. that they're bitter against yeah no, I've, I've seen it a dozen times i've seen a few times. retards online today that like were are they're obviously huge shane fans but they're like a little like no no they're disappointed i kind of thought he'd throw a molotov cocktail into the crowd and <laughs> show his swastika tattoo on his chest and curb stomp Bowen. No, that's that's also like Shane never once let that side win. Yeah, he never He's, once let them win. I don't think I've ever seen anyone toe the line like he is, like in such a perfect way. Yeah, it's, and it's, and also be like incredibly endearing and just like a good guy, benevolent. And, benev- yeah, I don't know. It's it's uh, He's great to his. his it's friends inspiring. And, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's good that a guy like that is uh, getting. Uh, Everything he's getting. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. We were all like little kids watching the SNL thing. We, it was great. I literally, like, we pre game Like, Connor and I went out, we bought Bud Light. Like, it was cool. It was like a little, mm-hmm. like, it was, uh, I think uh, yeah. Michael Rainey had a great, he goes, this is like the retard Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really just like the first sketch, the opening sketch was very good. But other than that, you know, it was pretty bad. <laughs> What's the monologue? The cold open. It's yeah. like, the cold open was great. As yeah. long as, yeah, the, the cold open was tremendous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Appropriately named open, yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, it was it was a, it was it was fun. I we have, I don't think we've I don't think I've ever gotten together to watch a comedy thing like that in my life with all my friends. Yeah, it brought us all together. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, it was great. It was great for him. And then if you're being weird about it online, it, you fucking suck. Yeah. Stop being all weird. Stop being insane. Dude, people... Dev is right, though. I It looked like Shane died the next morning. I, today, I woke up, and there were people were posting on Instagram like there wasn't even like a caption. It was just mm-hmm. pictures of him like mm-hmm. from, in, from the old days. And I'm like, did I'm like, was he assassinated? Like, what? Right. what is going on? People were posting pictures of like them with like Gardini from 2017. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, let it go. <laughs> let it fucking go. Jesus people Christ. People being like, dude, we all made it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's literally like when a, like a basketball player gets drafted and the guys go like, oh, the whole we out, we out of the ghetto. And then he like block, <laughs> block. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, his his text green for some reason. Yeah, there was a lot of very bad comics, you know. I'm not I didn't really see any of that. I mean, I sought it out because I type in people's usernames and go to, to get pissed off. Sure. But I've actually muted any single person who uh, posts stand up comedy. I've muted every I've muted. Like 700 people that I follow. Uh, Some of these people I like, but right. I don't want to see your dates and posters sure, right. and promos that you're going to be in Timonium, Maryland, and all these places. I, yeah, yeah, no, I don't yeah. give no, a shit it's about. Mind it's, numbing. it's mute, mute, mute. Mind mute. numbing. Yeah. I've muted every single person. And they're nice people. Some sure. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not. But I've muted every single So I don't know. You guys updated me on all this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I, I just, know. yeah, today. I've never seen someone's name used more in comedy than his today the, yeah. and yesterday the whole day i couldn't imagine the pressure like all day it was it was, mm-hmm. it was like literally wait like but like people like being like patrick Mahomes, like this is like a legacy changer for him like if he doesn't win it was crazy yeah people just trying to find like the 40 chest hot take on what's happening mm-hmm. can't just enjoy something and then all the tweets where it's like yeah wow thanks for enlightening us like this is the first time i've tuned in for snl because mm-hmm. it sucks and let's see how oh does it did we not know that thanks no. 
Yeah, the show sucks. It's a Everybody bad show. Everybody knows it sucks. There's also talented people yeah. on it. At the end and of the day, sometimes the sketches are good. Yes, occasionally. At the end of the day, Mikey Day is fucking amazing, <laughs> and that's why I tune in. So this is the thing me and Devin have been doing for so long. I can't. Well, we pretend we're a huge Mikey Day. <laughs> I know. Yeah, he was doing it the whole night while we were watching. He's a master of his craft, and I'm a day head. <laughs> I, we're, we're day game. We, we do day game. We yeah. day game. It's it's daytime. Jace, are you a? <laughs> Do you day trade? I day trade a little bit. No, you guys were literally like, he would walk into a sketch. You'd be like, daytime. <laughs> daytime. Daytime, motherfucker. Let's be honest. Shane Shane was good Shane in some of the good, sketches, but, but standing next to Mikey Day. It's hard. It's mm-hmm. tough. When yeah. he's standing next to Mikey Day, it's just. Yeah, but ben, are you, are you going com- to compare Basquiat to Michelangelo? <laughs> I got to I mean, say, you know, Heidi Gardner made him look small. <laughs> you know, every time I see Mikey Day, I go, is it cake? Is it cake, Mikey? <laughs> I thought that was Bobby Moynihan. No, no, no. It's, sadly, it's Mikey Day. It's Mikey Day. Yeah. What's Bobby Moynihan up to? Bobby Moynihan's um, shooting heroin in an alley somewhere. I don't know. Bobby Moynihan eats the cake on the show. <laughs> So Mikey Day hosts, and then Bobby eats. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, eats, yeah, like, Bobby like hosts, he gets paid in like cake. Man, he yeah. just comes out. <laughs> he hosts another show called It Was Cake. <laughs> and I, and I, and I ate it. And I ate it. It <laughs> airs after. They film it after Mikey's show. Yeah. No, Mikey, I mean, that show is like something they film to like show in Gestapo's, like when they're killing <laughs> Jewish people. That show is so bad. It's so fun to sit down and watch SNL every week and then turn over to your friend and be like... Damn, Mikey Day still got it. <laughs> Dude, uh, that's my Mikey new thing. Mikey Day is still got it's it. It's my, my new friend. thing. I think I'm going to follow his career for the rest of my life. And I by mean, the way, he's not bad. He's not bad, it's but just, it's, he's it's just, just funny. He's just like, it's just, he's just exist. Like, I don't really know. I he's just like I, a team player. I like, know, like, you know. I know what it is, is that he, I could tell he quietly has the self confidence of like Conor McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know he walks into his dressing room and he goes, fucking did it again, Mike. <laughs> yep. Fucking nailed it again, Mikey. Yeah, it's funny because he is he's talented, but it is just like you are like Luke Walton, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you're a four assist a night player. Yeah. Yeah. You're Alex Caruso, but you think you're Michael Jordan. <laughs> just I, I, you've never met someone who's like, I fucking I, I can't get enough Mikey. Day. That's the thing. That's the way the joke's so funny. To me. I'm like, is yeah. there a single person out there that like is like obsessed with Mikey Day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you went up to Mikey Day's parents, you're like, dude, I love him on the show. And they're like, really? <laughs> Like I mean, it's cool he's on the show, but like, <laughs> and like he does technically deserve it, but really, really, hmm. yeah, weird. He's a workhorse. Yeah. Anyway, no shade to Mikey Day. No shade or Bert. Really. No, I love Bert. No, we love. In case we meet any of these people, we love them all. Or yeah, or no shade to anybody we've ever said bad. Things no, about. it's all jokes. It's all in jazz. Except Tony Hinchcliffe. No, it's all jokes. It's all jokes. jokes. Even that was a bit. Come on. That was a bit. We love them all. We love everybody. Not Hans Kim. No. I've I've never publicly said every comic but Shane Gillis should be shot in the head. Somebody reminded me of (laughs) today. People were quoting you. People were quoting me. I go, oh boy. Don't remember that. (laughs) <laughs> oh fuck we kept laughing at the idea of like Tommy Pope bursting through the weekend update wall like the Kool-Aid man thought, like I, drunk as shit it would be like so I kept imagining Tommy walking out and pissing himself like a star is born like on stage <laughs> like asking Shane for a zin right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hitting Marcelo with a brick he found. Yeah, Tommy and Chris are, are carving the swastikas back into the steel beams at Thirty Rock. <laughs> uh, patreoncom slash uh for an extra episode every week. We do have a live episode with Shane on there from Austin. If you want to check that out, Shane comes on stage in the last 15 How minutes. How far Shane's come. Just two weeks ago, he was this, he was a nobody doing the Lemon Party live show. He was yeah. a nobody so, wearing diapers on so stage. So proud of him now to see him on SNL. Yeah. And uh, you know what, Shane? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, live streams every two weeks on the Lemon Party Clips channel. So subscribe to that. And sometimes I'll go live too. But it, me, Jason, Devin do it together every two weeks. And then... We're going to have East Coast dates soon for the live. Yeah, we're trying to book party those show. now. Yeah. Which, by the way, we don't do the same Lemon Party live show every time. We're always improvising and coming up with new stuff. I'm not going to like make people wait. Like the, You saw the Houston show, which we put on Patreon. It's different from the Austin show. Like We're doing different stuff every time. But I might bring back some gags. Well, there's always shows. new retards. Oh, well, sure. Story but also, and, I'm not yeah. going to like every show make people piss no, in diapers. No, that might should be a one-off, probably. I think I'll never do that but again. Let's never do that. That was unsanitary and 
disgusting. It also really bummed me out that some of the fans didn't know how diapers worked and they put them yeah. on over their pants and then pissed themselves. It's too dark. Mm-hmm. It's too dark. I, to find, I could to barely. Find out. People might, don't know how they work. It was yeah. grim. It was grim. You might as well pulled out a bag of heroin and been like, "All right, who's gonna shoot up? <laughs> Whoever shoots the most heroin during the show wins hundred bucks." <laughs> and then. Uh, I think that's it. That's is that it. is that it? Don't that's we, we have nothing else to promote? Why would the we? live show in LA? Oh, listen, uh, subscribe to Limb Party Podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to the podcast you're listening Start to. Start promoting your own, <laughs> the own show. Oh uh, fuck, I can't. Is the, I'm feeling like we're show forgetting something. Live, live show, show in LA, March, March 23rd. Oh yeah, that's that's what I was. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, yeah. March 23rd, we're doing a live Lemon Party LA. It's on the Patreon. You can yeah. see where it is. Tickets at the door, so get there early. We'll probably only be able to fit like 150 people in. So if you want to get there, get there early. All right, uh, Devin at Hey Watch Pod, Jace at Sad Drawings by Jay. See you guys Bye. next week. Bye. Town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rose's Cantina, music would play and Polina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Polina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was deep for this Mexican maid I was in love but in vain I could tell One night a wild young cowboy came in Wild as the West Texas